Good afternoon. Yeah, I received a positive uh, TB scan test. Okay. A man was referred to the county health department after having a positive TB skin test during a pre-employment physical for an examination and chest x-ray. He also reported intermittent productive cough. Common symptoms of pulmonary tuberculosis include a productive cough that lasts longer than two weeks, pain in the chest, bloody sputum, weakness, weight loss, decreased appetite, chills, fever, and night sweats. TB is the leading cause of death from infectious disease worldwide. Until 1946, there were no medications to combat tuberculosis. Sanitariums stressing fresh air and rest were the cornerstone of treatment. In 1987, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention thought tuberculosis could be eradicated from the United States by the year 2010. This ceased to be a possibility due to factors such as the AIDS epidemic and increased immigration from countries where TB is prevalent. Tuberculosis is caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis. It is an aerobic bacillus, which means it requires oxygen to grow. This need for oxygen is one reason why tuberculosis most commonly affects the lungs. Weight-bearing bones, such as the hip and spine, the lymphatic system, and the brain are other sites where the disease has been known to invade. Pulmonary TB is transmitted when bacteria pass by very small droplets expelled during coughing or sneezing by the infected host are inhaled by a vulnerable person. The infection can spread to other susceptible organ sites via the vascular and lymphatic systems. The tubercle bacillus organism has unique properties that influence both the disease process and drug therapy. It multiplies slowly and may lie dormant in the body for years, being encapsulated or walled off in calcified tubercles. When dormant, it exists in sufficiently low numbers that it can be successfully treated with one drug, usually INH. When active, however, the organism requires treatment by more than one drug because resistance rapidly develops to single drug therapy. Inadequate or incomplete treatment can cause multiple drug resistance, a growing problem worldwide. A strong presumptive diagnosis can be obtained on the basis of a chest x-ray which shows a typical pattern common to tuberculosis. Definitive diagnosis requires culture and identification of the organism. If sputum samples cannot be obtained, bronchoscopy may be performed to obtain specimens for culture. But first I want to go over the the drug-resistant strains of TB are often highly virulent, and exposure is much more likely to lead to disease in family members, community contacts, and health care providers. For this reason, and because a few doses of medication will not prevent identification of the organisms, it is now common for treatment to be initiated as soon as a presumptive diagnosis is made. Individuals with TB will usually have a positive skin test reaction even when the disease is latent. They may, however, develop tuberculosis later in life if they do not receive preventative therapy. People may never develop TB despite hosting the bacillus, while those individuals whose defenses are lowered are more likely to develop active disease. Chemotherapy treatment, AIDS, alcoholism, intravenous drug use, poor nutrition, and crowded unsanitary living conditions all contribute to the spread of tuberculosis.